get ready for some button mashing because Hotego has released a beta core for Hypersports to his Patreon subscribers. Developed by Konami, Hypersports was an Olympic sports arcade game from 1984. Players would compete in different events like swimming, skeet shooting, archery, and more. Hotego also fixed a bug in Forgotten Worlds that was causing issues with the background star field. An alpha core for the arcade game Terra Crusta has been made available. Written by Darren O oh on Twitter, in its current alpha state, the CRT timings aren't right yet, and you have to make sure you add a line to your Mr. INI file. The core can be downloaded from a link on the announcement tweet. Terra Cresta is a vertically scrolling shooter developed by Nichibutsu. It is a sequel to the 1980s arcade game Moon Cresta. You take control of a starship named the Wing Galibur to help you save humanity from destruction. In the game, you can collect different ship parts to give you unique weapon abilities. A Mr. FPGA CRT guide is being created and in discussion on the official Mr. FPGA forums. There is a work in progress version available for download that you can take a look at. It currently has info on different methods of plugging in CRTs and it also has some recommended settings you can try for different cores. Since it's still a work in progress, information can change but eventually, the plan is to create a dedicated wiki. Another option for using MT32Pi on your mister is available. As of version 0.11.2, the MT32Pi project now supports network MIDI via raw UDP sockets. This is compatible with mister's MIDI link and should allow you to use a Raspberry Pi for MT32 music over the network without the need to purchase a Pi hat for your mister. In order to get sound, you will have to plug in the Raspberry Pi to some speakers because the Pi will be outputting the music. Also know that Wi-Fi connections can pose a problem with skipped and hanging notes, so Ethernet will work better. An MT32 Pi hat will still give you the best experience, but this is just another option you can use to enjoy MT32 sound with your mister. The MT32 Pi project is a way of getting upgraded music for computer cores that support external sound modules. Some new mappers have been added to the NES cores. Mappers were extra chips added to NES cartridges that would enhance the capabilities of the NES. They will allow it to create bigger and more complex games. The new mappers added are Mapper 268 and 547. Mapper 268 is used on some unofficial multi-game cards, including Data East All-Star Collection, a modern release by Retrobit. Mapper 547 was a mapper developed by Konami which was used in their rare Space School series of titles developed for the education market. This Konami mapper was actually housed in a cartridge called the QTA adapter that accepted the smaller Space School carts. This would keep the cost of the software down by not having the mapper installed in each individual software cart. Thanks to Alan SWX, Mr. has a new help menu system and you can now view help documentation for cores. This documentation will give you info on the core and how to set it up. This menu system is a very convenient addition that can help users better set up their Mr. systems with fewer visits to the internet. To get this new help system, you can either go to the Mr. system settings and select the new help option. You will then be shown a list of cores that you can view a help file on. Select the core you want and then select the readme.md file and you can then browse the help documentation. To exit, just keep hitting the back button on your gamepad or hit escape on your keyboard. You can also access the help menu within a running core. Just bring up the core's main menu, then go to its system settings and select help. And other cores getting miscellaneous fixes and updates are the Game Boy, Genesis, Mega CD, Neo Geo, NES, Super NES, Sega Master System, Trouble Graphics 16 have all had their framework updated. The NES core also has fixes to MIDI, the PPU, and the MMC5 mapper. The Sinclair QL core can now remember a mounted hard drive image across boots and its framework has been updated. The Minimig core and Sam Coop cores have had their frameworks updated. The AO46 core had a value for a variable reduced, and it's Mr. FS DOS program that allows you to easily transfer files into AO486 
has had fixes and tweaks. The AO486 core has also had its framework updated. Note that you have to update both the Mr. FS program available on the AO46 GitHub and the main Mr. software for all these changes to be applied. And for the main Mr. program, Mr. Game Launcher files now support up to six actions, a reset action, and other improvements and fixes. You can set sync polarity and override configuration based on video mode, IDE and floppy fixes for x86, Guncon support via Retro Zord adapter, Guncon 3 tweaks. Keep in mind that the Guncon additions does not mean that support for any of the Guncons has been officially added. You still need to manually add the driver from Nolan Nicholson's GitHub. Finally, there also have been other fixes and tweaks to the main Mr. program. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, please support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.